in this video we are going to discuss about group in algebraic system uh, that is in discrete mathematical structures dms uh, first let us see what is a group and we will try to solve two examples based on the group first let's see what is a group let we have a non empty set called s so let s be a non empty set so non empty set means this set must contain some elements and we have a binary operation uh, it may be any operation plus or star or uh, minus any operation let star be a binary operation which is performed on the set then an algebraic system s comma star here s means non empty set star means binary operation which is performed on the set an algebraic system s comma star is called as group if it satisfies four properties they are the first property is closure property second property is associative property associative property third one is identity element identity element and the fourth one is inverse element if an algebraic system satisfies these four properties then we can say that it is a group okay uh, so parallelly here we will discuss all these properties uh, by demonstrating the first example let us see the first example show that set of all non zero real numbers is a group with respect to the multiplication so here which operation we have to perform multiplication operation and what is the set here set of all non zero real numbers so real numbers means uh, they are uh, nothing but uh, they may contain natural numbers also why because if you take 5.2 7.4 these are the real numbers okay so here we have 5 here we have 7 these are nothing but natural numbers only set of non zero real numbers so we should not take zero now here the set is like this s is equal to we should not take zero so remaining numbers 1 2 3 so on a set of natural numbers we have taken why because in every real number we will have some natural number so here we are taking that natural number so we have to prove that it is a it is a group okay show that a set of all non zero real numbers is a group with respect to which operation multiplication operation so group means it has to satisfies four properties so what is the first property the first property is closure property so first let us see about closure property closure property means we have to take two elements from the set we have to take two elements from the set so for any two elements for any two elements a comma b belongs to s then here we have taken star operation then if a star b is also present in the set then we can say that closure property is satisfied so closure property means we have to take two elements a b from the set here we are performing multiplication operation if a star b is also present in the set then we can say that closure property is satisfied so let us take two elements from the set here the set contains the elements from 1 to infinity okay and let us take 1 comma 2 One comma two is present in the set, and uh, one star two. What is the result of one star two? Two. So two is also present in the set. So we can say that closure property is satisfied. Now let us see the second property. The second property is associative property. The second property is associative property. Associative property. Associative property means we have to take three elements from the set. So for any three elements. For any three elements, a comma b comma c belongs to S. Then, then here we are performing uh, same operation, star multiplication operation. Here in associative, we need to perform the same operation. So here, if we have star, then within the parentheses also we should have star. So a star b star c is equal to a star b star c is equal to a star b into c. if if lhs is equal to the rhs then we can say that associative property is satisfied let us take three elements from the set 
let a means 1 b means 2 c means 3 so 1 2 3 belongs to s so let us perform the multiplication 1 star 2 star 3 is equal to 1 star 2 into 3 so 1 star 2 into 3 means 6 is equal to 1 star 2 means 2 2 into 3 means 6 6 is equal to 6 so here 6 is also present in the set here the set contains the elements from 1 to infinity so 6 equal to 6 i am sorry that is not necessary here what is the condition if this lhs is equal to the rhs then we can say that uh, associative property is satisfied here lhs means 6 rhs means 6 lhs is equal to the rhs so we can say that here associative property is satisfied now let us see the third element the third property the third property is identity element the first two are properties closure property associative property whereas the next two are elements identity element inverse element so let us see the third property third element third property is nothing but identity element identity element property not needed here identity element means we have to take two elements from the set so for any two elements a comma e belongs to s here e means identity element okay here which operation we are performing star operation if a star e is equal to e star a is equal to a then we can say that identity element is satisfied then we can say that identity element is satisfied here which operation we are performing star operation the identity element with respect to the star is one so what is the identity element with respect to the star one okay let us take any element from the set let a means three so three is belongs to the set okay then here we have taken a as three so three into what is the identity element with respect to the multiplication one three into one is equal to one into three is equal to what is the result of three into one three 1 into 3, 3 is equal to 3. So, we got that E as the result, A as the result. A is nothing but 3 only, okay. So, this is satisfied. So, we can say that here identity element is also satisfied. Now, let us see the last property. The last property is inverse element. The last property is inverse element. Inverse element means for any element A belongs to S, there exists an element A inverse belongs to the S. So, if A belongs to S, then we can say that A inverse is also belongs to the S. So, here inverse property means A into A inverse is equal to A inverse into A is equal to E. A into A inverse is equal to A inverse into A is equal to E. In place of A inverse, we can take some other element also like B. A into B is equal to B into A is equal to E. Likewise, also we can write. We already know that the identity element with respect to the multiplication is what? 1. Okay. Let us solve the problem now. Let a is equal to 5. Okay. Let a is equal to 5. Here we know that a into a inverse is equal to what is the result? E. E. Here we have taken a as 5. So, 5 into let us find out a inverse. 5 into a inverse is equal to the identity element with respect to the multiplication is 1. So, 5 into a inverse is equal to 1. So, we can say that a inverse is equal to 1 by 5. So, here what is the formula? a into. So, 5 into what is a inverse? For 5, the inverse is 1 by 5. So, 5 into 1 by 5 is equal to, we got a inverse as 1 by 5 into a is 5. So, 5 into 1 by 5 means what? 1. 1 by 5 into 5 means 1. So, that 1 is nothing but e value. So, here also this equation is satisfied. a into a inverse is equal to a inverse into a is equal to e. Okay. So, we can say that this problem is, the solution is correct, this problem. We have shown this as a group. Show that we can say that set of all non-zero real numbers is a group with respect to the multiplication. Why? Because we have satisfied all the four properties. We have satisfied, this problem satisfies closure property. This problem satisfied associative property, identity element, inverse element. So, we can say that it is a group. Now, let us solve the second example. What is the second example? In a group G comma star. In a group G comma star. So, group means it has to satisfy four properties. Okay. It satisfies uh, a closure property, associative property, identity element, inverse element. Prove that A star B whole inverse is equal to B inverse into A inverse for all A B belongs to G. So, it, here this is a group. Group means it has to satisfy four properties. 
here let us take inverse property what is inverse element what is inverse element a into a inverse is equal to a inverse into a is equal to e here what is the problem they given a star b whole inverse is equal to b inverse into a inverse here in order to solve this problem what we have to do is we have to take a into b into what is the right hand side b inverse into a inverse is equal to we have to prove the result as e if we prove the result as e then we can say that this is satisfied so here what is the problem a into b whole inverse is equal to b inverse into a inverse uh, here we have this formula a into a inverse is equal to e so here we have taken a into b into b inverse into a inverse is equal to e if you satisfy if 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 you prove this lhs as e then we can say that lhs is equal to the rhs so very very simple problem okay so here what is the problem a into b into b inverse into a inverse so this can be written as a into we can multiply b with b inverse so b into b inverse into a so a into we know that a into a inverse is equal to e here we have b into b inverse so b into b inverse means e so into a okay so now here we have i'm sorry this is nothing but a inverse a into b into b inverse into a inverse so we can say that here e into a into a inverse what is the formula for a into a inverse e a into a inverse is equal to we know that it is e e into e is equal to e so we can say that here we have proved the the, uh, the result e as e so we can say that a into b whole inverse is equal to b inverse into a inverse very very simple if we move a into b whole inverse towards the right side then we will get the, this inverse will gets eliminated a into b into b inverse into a inverse is equal to so this is nothing but here this is the inverse here we have the formula as e so that's why here we have taken e okay so with this we can conclude that this is satisfied so this is about group in algebraic system